So the Big Bang isn't the only big myth in astronomy today. Uh, the other big myth is the nebular hypothesis, which forces all the objects in the solar system, no matter how different they look, no matter how different they are, basically with their mass and their chemical composition and their differentiation and the phase of matter, the lot of material that that star is in, they're all the same age because they all are about the same age as the Earth, even the sun. The sun is the same age as the Earth too, which is really insane if you think about it. How they got away with this myth for so many years and how long it's going to perpetuate, I don't know. But I made a short comment on Demystify Sides channel with uh, Michael and Anastasia. Um, and I just want to kind of rail this home because the myth perpetuates even among people who are supposedly educated like the science popularizer Neil deGrasse Tyson. I saw another video of him going over it, how, you know, the 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 planets are all uh, related to one another. And I was like, no, they're not. <laughs> I don't know how they continue to get away with it, knowing full well how different these things are and how much we've discovered about the universe around us. It's like a it really wrong really bad ideas tend to stay around for a long time and i've just sort of given myself up to that but i know my listeners are wiser than that so they'll oh okay but just to if there's any new listeners here i already have the uh the ages of these objects kind of kind of round about estimated far more accurately than saying they're all four and a half to 4.6 billion years old which is really well let's just put it like this it's stupid to think about it like that because it's based on a myth and the myth is all the objects in the solar system and the sun all came to be at the same time it's it's a myth um it's wrong it's inaccurate it doesn't accurately describe reality observations it 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 you might as well you might as well just go back in time 2,000 years ago and continue believing that the Earth uh, is the center of the solar system. That's how absurd it is right now. But anyways, uh, hello, Celeste. Jupiter is 632.8 to 731 million years old. There's Jupiter. Saturn, 590 plus or minus 141 million years old. There's Saturn. Neptune and Uranus, or Neptune and Uranus, 1.23 billion years and 1.15 billion years, plus or minus 0.11, so point, or 110 uh, million years plus or minus for both of them. Right there and right there. Obviously, if you look at them, they look a lot more evolved than objects that are a few hundred million years old. And then... Obviously, uh, Uranus is about mm, 100 million years old, older than Neptune. Um, and you have Earth, Earth in the very bottom, four point. They got Earth down, I think, pretty accurately. And you have Venus. Venus is a fossilized star for the most part at 700 billion years. And you have Mars is 25 to 32 billion years. And you have Mercury, seven to 21 trillion years old and then Pluto is probably a uh, impact remains from a previous uh, cosmic event where it had blown apart another object and it didn't re coalesced into a rounder object that's why it looks so funky but I'm pretty sure a lot of objects around Pluto size if not smaller or even a little bit bigger will be just impact remains. So we should expect to see those objects looking really funky on their surface. Uh, and basically that's, that's about it. You have these objects that are widely different in age and we can branch out and work on science in light of this uh, in an objective manner now outside of the mythology of nebula hypothesis and outside of the mythology of Big Bang. Obviously Big Bang goes out the window with this too because Mars is 25 to 32 billion years old 
Venus is 700 billion and Mercury is 7 to 21 trillion years old. So there's no, <laughs> the Big Bang never happened. That's another myth. All right, you guys, take it easy.